today's video is about Lancome's Oud Bouquet. This is the Eau de Parfum version pictured here, released in 2014. I'm going to get straight into it. This is very popular with a lot of people uh, that I read or watch or follow and I only got to try it recently. I've got a sample here. I'm just going to spray it on and just describe this, the opening in particular. Now, when I was testing this, every time I sprayed it on, uh, it really took me back to my childhood. And the reason it did that was because this reminded me, uh, this reminded me of when we used to have family gatherings or functions uh, after dinner there would be sweets and dessert and there would usually be uh, a tray of little um, you know these were Italian style liqueur chocolates a dark chocolate with a liqueur filled center um, and being a child I wasn't allowed to eat those chocolates and I didn't really like the smell of that liqueur um, so I wasn't particularly interested in trying them but this opening really reminds me of those chocolates and um, I have those associations with an adult uh, an adult thing um, so this feels like a quite a grown-up scent to me in the opening now the the notes listed there's five notes officially listed for Lancome Oud Bouquet which are praline saffron rose oud and vanilla so the opening um, has that gourmet aspect about it the sweetness from uh, you know I, it, it's not what I associate with praline but I do certainly get that kind of quite sweet boozy opening um, with the rose now the rose um, after only a couple of minutes um, to me gets quite dusty um, like a like a drier rose it goes from that from that sweet um, kind of moist wet rose to uh, a dry dusty rose as it progresses though that that sweetness from the opening the praline or the chocolate or the liqueur aspect goes away and essentially this becomes uh you know a sweetish oud rose formula okay very very nicely done uh and as it further progresses into the dry down, you get um, at various times oud rose and then um, rose vanilla. The vanilla becomes a bit more dominant. And through the progression of this whole fragrance on my skin, I'm reminded of other favorite fragrances that have this combination of notes or, or uh, or different combinations of the notes listed in Oud Bouquet. So at various times when some of the vanilla comes in, uh, I'm reminded of uh, Francis Kirkjian's Oud Satin Mood, um, which to me, that fragrance probably leans a bit more masculine than this one does. And then uh, into the later dry down, you know, because I have worn uh, Montal's Black Oud a lot, um, I get that where it becomes more rose and oud. Now, through the through the whole wearing of this scent, the rose is a constant, and at various times, different things come up in waves. Like the, the, there's a wave of ouds um, not far into the into the mid notes, and then the vanilla comes in and it becomes a rose oud vanilla and then at the end it's more of a rose vanilla so in general the whole scent has has for a rose oud combo has a sweetness to it so it's it's something that i would describe as a gourmand uh, oud rose now these type of scents um my pre my this is not the type of scent I would seek out to wear. Now, I really like the way this smells, but it's probably a little bit too on the sweet side for me to be a regular wearer of. And I think that I think that this does lean slightly more feminine uh, than some of the other ones that I wear. So I I prefer 
something with a bit of the earthiness you know um, if we're talking you know if we're talking chocolate like I prefer something like Noir de Noir from Tom Ford with that patchouli type um, sweet earthiness in it and if we're talking vanilla rose oud satin mood and if we're just talking straight oud rose montel black oud now this has elements of all those all those things um but it does stay sweet you know first with the praline in the opening then the vanilla in the base uh it is a lovely scent just not something that i would wear but i would certainly wouldn't mind smelling this on somebody else at all um, and and Longcom have done a great job a great job with this now considering that this on their website um, in Australian dollars is 75 mil bottle for 220 dollars I think roughly um, so it's priced it's, it's a good price point compared to those other fragrances uh, I mentioned and you can get it considerably cheaper than that so this is on the Longcom website now where this fragrance easily matches any of those other ones that I've mentioned is its performance this lasts and lasts and lasts uh, I put it on in the late afternoon um, yesterday and I went to bed with it on woke up and at 8 a.m the next morning I could still very noticeably smell it under under my shirt um, so there is no issue with performance with this Oud Bouquet Eau de Parfum uh, and it has very good projection as well for the first few hours so so this is this is beast mode um, as we like to say in the industry uh, that's really all I have to say about it. The, the bottle, as you can see in the graphic, or as you might have seen in the graphic, is, is a very lovely, attractive bottle, uh, and certainly worth checking out. If you're, if you're a fan of um, rose, oud, a bit of sweetness tinged with that, definitely check this out. I didn't pick up a lot of the saffron in this, but it might have been working in combination with the rose when, uh, in terms of making it a little bit, that little bit drier kind of rose um, scent that I was picking up. Uh, Lancôme Oud Bouquet, Eau de Parfum. Uh, thank you to You Know Who You Are for this very generous sample. And I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed that review. Thank you.